Before you begin machining on an engine lathe, there are several important safety aspects to be aware of. The first, under no circumstances, leave the chuck key in the lathe. If the lathe is turned on, this can be thrown at you, causing serious bodily harm. Second, always be aware of the relationship of the tool post to the chuck jaws. If you're not paying attention, you can crash the lathe or run the tool post into the jaws of the lathe. This can cause serious damage to the equipment as well as yourself. And finally, when machining large work such as this piece of one-inch steel bar stock, always make sure that your work is properly supported. If you have any questions about the proper operation of an engine lathe, consult your supervisor. If at any point you crash the lathe, use the emergency foot brake to stop it. Here we discussed basic nomenclature and safety of an engine lathe and show you the proper start procedure. Once you've had your machine unlocked by a shop supervisor, you can rotate the emergency stop knob here clockwise and release it. This will provide power to your machine. Next, you're going to select the speed range based on your cutting tool and material. Most commonly, you'll be using the low speed range, 36 to 300 RPM. Next, you'll want to make sure that the digital speed selection is all the way counterclockwise to the lowest possible setting. This will prevent the lathe from starting at a higher speed than you even intended. Next, for automatic feeding, you want to select your feed from this chart here. This is in thousands per inch per revolution of your part with the quick change gear levers. So, for the purposes of this demonstration, I will select PU, BC, or 26 thousandths per revolution of a part, which I've done so here. If you want to select an alternate automatic feed or thread cut, you jog the chuck with this green button here and then move the levers to the corresponding setting. If you have any question about how to set up the engine lathe before beginning your cut, ask your shop supervisor. Select the appropriate RPM. You'll use the cutting speeds for common materials chart. For this one inch piece of bar stock, we would select high carbon steel for the material, one inch in diameter for the part turned, which give us an RPM range of 300 RPM. To begin cutting your part, we'll use the spindle direction lever. The bottom position is reverse, whereas the top position is forward. After you've selected the forward position, begin increasing your spindle speed until you get to your desired RPM. Once you reach your desired RPM, you can use the spindle direction lever to start and stop the lathe. That way your hands were made near the carriage controls. To use the automatic feeding, you'll use this lever here. Down is cross feeding for facing, out and up is longitudinal feeding for turning your part. Before beginning your cut, you need to make sure that the tip of your tool is on center with the work. The best method for doing so is to use a dead center. If the tip of your dead center is in line with the cutting tip of your tool, then your cutting tool is on center and you can proceed with your cut. Once you're finished machining your part, make sure the automatic feed is in the neutral position. Turn the spindle speed all the way down. 
press the emergency stop to turn off power to the machine and finally lock your machine.